Our twin stick template allows us to quickly jump in and get a twin stick shooter started. We get gamepad and keyboard input. We get some simple direction-based movement. Independent projectile direction, physics-based projectiles, and a basic audio setup. Let's go ahead and run through this example and we'll check it out. We have our little UFO. I can move him around using my WASD keys and you'll see he can run into things, but nothing really happens. Now if we use our up, down, left, and right arrows, well we can shoot and those directions can be independent of where our ship is shooting. Our traditional setup for a twin stick shooter. We can also shoot these blocks and they'll react with physics as you can see. Even though our ship does not, our bullocks are physical enabled. We also have some basic audio sounds when we fire off and you can hear just basic pew pew sounds. Now if we look at the actual template setup, we'll see that all of our controls are inside of our pawn itself. That includes our movement as well as our firing direction. We see things such as our bullets themselves handling when they hit something. They're going to apply a little bit of force and we get that little bit of a physics feedback. The actual camera is included inside of our setup and it's really easy to adjust the size of it. And besides that, that is our basics for our twin stick shooter. It gives us a character, we can move it, we can shoot, and stuff can happen. Now if we spend a little bit of time, we could maybe turn into something like this. This is a silly geo. It is on the learn tab on the marketplace. And it's an example of what you could do by spending a little bit of time and improving on the twin stick shooter. We have our little ship which we can move around and I can fire and these bullets are red. You notice they have some particle effects and our enemies explode. We have a little bit of a field behind us as well. We can change our weapon and our ship as well. If I scroll, you'll notice the ship changes. And that actually matters because the enemies have to be shot with the appropriate color. So now once I finish this, we can advance to another round. You can see our health. You'll also see that some of these enemies are kamikaze, like the blue ones, whereas the yellow ones are a little bit more erratic as they try to get to the player. Our health is regenerating, and then we can slowly defeat our enemies. Once we finish up our round, we can start up a third round. These waves are designed ahead of time. However, they're really easy to adjust as needed. It makes it simple to create levels and fine-tune them, fine them based on difficulty. And you can see we have an end screen when we win. So that's a simple example of what you can accomplish using the twin stick shooter template. It's great for, well, making twin stick shooters.